Junior's birthday yesterday was a lot. Ah, <laughs> you put up money, oh, this fan base. Anyways, this story and plenty other interesting things. Now, I can recommend this channel today. So, you know how we do it? You have to watch this video until the very end to catch up on all the amazing things that I have for you today. Hi, Sotopo. Welcome to another great episode on Celebrity Just with Toby. I hope so. I'm in our world today. Thank you so much for just with me. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. On this channel, I bring you celebrity updates. What's in the share for inside celebrities' life? May I have carry on this channel? So please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell right beside so you get amazing gist as they hot, as it take the share. To my amazing subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are the real deal. I do not take you for granted. Eh? Who bombed me? I have never ever taken you for granted before. So I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey. All right, so so let us start this gist with Kanaga Juniors by the ha by the Yemu line. It was a a wow something like i was like what is this i was just watching videos and i posted some short videos yesterday guys did you see the gift a benz benzometer ha or more people have money like what <laughs> oh this this is just a lot guys kanaga is loved kanaga is definitely loved his fan base went all out for him yesterday so aside from the car because i know that the car is what so many people heard yesterday and they're like eh, car, okay. yeah so they gave him a car they gifted him a car not just an ordinary car a Benz c300 then they gave him three million era cash they gave him 500k cash to support his clothing brand they gave him 600k cash prize from KJ's wishlist donors MacBook Pro 14 inches PS5 digital edition 825 gigabytes they gave him Q-Link champion superbike they gave him sneakers perfumes orishi rishi and orish in fact I cannot even start to list all but this is delicious yeah? you can just go through as in I'm like in this economy that everybody is shouting okay not everybody that some of us are shouting what was going on god have mercy so people ah only why people have money anyways congratulations to kanaga he definitely does deserve it like kanaga is a sweet boy and he definitely deserves all the love that is getting right now so happy birthday in areas once again kanaga junior may you live long may you prosper may you really really prosper david o's timeless concert over the weekend was mind-blowing like are you joking hey it was a lot the video's fans came all out for him as usual as a matter of fact the osho state governor no adeleke was in attendance you know it's the video's uncle so it was a lot a lot it was so beautiful but then some you know epic moments happen there just watch one of it. I saw that video i was like guy what's wrong with you you want to come and punch out the video what did the video do to you should the video buy your way because i don't get it like why do you want to come and punch him <laughs> the video said was ready but if you bring one i'll give you 10 like that was so funny but guys what's up uh -uh. she these our artists cannot just hold concerts and you know they'll just have a smooth time without people trying to jump on the stage without people trying to grab them without uh -uh. what did the video do to this band they're supposed to catch him and question her like what did the video do to you should they don't buy away because i don't understand why are you trying to punch our david what's your problem you want to spoil the first game anyways thank goodness the security men quickly handled the situation and there was another video where one guy jumped on the stage and he grabbed the video's leg i'm like ah, uh -huh. people shall let this guy sing his song in peace and go but is it like people must come and do and display things Anyway, still on Davido's gist, you would have noticed, or in case you've not noticed, that Davido and Kubana chief priests all followed one another on Instagram. I'm sure you might be wondering what's going on. And again, Kubana chief priest is Davido's guy. This kind of concert, you expect him to be there, but he wasn't there. Instead, he posted a video of himself vibing in a club. Hmm. People are now asking questions. But what was going on? What was going on? Hmm. Before Gislovana helped us to, you know, open the story and tell us what is happening. According to what 
this lover posted um this baby mama story that i brought onto this channel to tell you that the widow got another woman pregnant he broke tumors her heart she had to leave the house and all that and all that anyways when that happened you know kubana chief priest is um davido's guy you know the way guys talk they'll talk about things they'll discuss things and then kubana chief priest now called davido and said ah this matter don't cast though what you go come do now blah 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 they shall talk then he now mentioned and said hi person may she even bomb boy so you go take you go take that one and replace if i and davido had that conversation and he really broke her he broke her because she considered priest to be a person and she was like oh so he even knew about the entire shenanigans and then the statement that the child will now replace Ifani really really did break her and she was like what's the meaning of all this she really broke her according to the way this lover described it that she cried and everything and everything and the video was broken as well so the video called um kubana and was praying for him and saying guy why you go talk that kind of thing guy why you go do this and why you kubana to not change it for him that guy what's up now looking at the scenario properly me i feel like you know men guys there's a way they talk about things I'm sure they would have had this conversation before. I'm sure Kubana and the other guys know that the video slept with someone. There was a baby mama drama, blah, 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 before it became public. Now they would have just said about it and all. So for Kubana to say that, he's saying it from a place of a close friend and all. Maybe he didn't know that Choma was there. He wouldn't have said that. Or maybe, I don't even know. <laughs> someone was saying that, oh, why would the video even put the call on speaker? And I'm like, it might even be on a call and not know that Choma was coming to the room. You get those kind of situations. Now the problem was that as the video was changing it for kubana chief priest kubana too was turning back for him that guy wait till they walk you anyways as it stands now the both of them have gone their separate way because the video said he doesn't want any friendship that was stressing going for that now as it stands people are trying to you know come in between them and help them settle the story and then get them back together we don't know how that is going to be maybe they're going to follow each other back maybe the friendship is going to be sealed again or we don't even know it's just a lot going on there but mm, all the best sha. there is this particular house that has a lot of controversy on social media this house is going for 500 million era it was being advertised by Ola of Lagos. Some people have a problem with it because of its location. Some people think it's not just worth it. And you know all of that, all of that. But I want you to be the judge of the matter. Oh yeah, you said, check out the house. Let me know what you think. With just 500 million naira, this five bedroom fully detached duplex can be yours. Come with me. Let me show you something. Let me see. You can gain entrance into this building by card swipe, passcode, fingerprint, or manual key. There is also an additional security that you can see the person standing at the front of your door from this screen. Who is there? Oh, it is Mr. Emeke at the door. Mr. Emeke, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> now to the real deal. Yeah! Oh, no, wow! Bro, I will not be poor. My house big like this. Massive space in the kitchen. Look at compartment. Look at. Look at. Now space. Oh. Now space. Look at. Look at. You never finish. Oh. Look at. See space. See space. See. 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 Compartment. See. See. You never finish. Oh. See. Space. Look at. Space. See. See. See space. See space. See space. See. Eh? Hey. Eh? See. 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 Refrigerator. Bro. I won't set it for less. Me. I will never be poor. Let's go upstairs. Guess what? This house has a cinema. Hey! Hey! Cinema, Nessie's and Chili. Cinema, Nessie's and Chili. Me and my baby, Nessie's and she. Me and my baby, Nessie's and she. Hey, come with this place. Oh my god, guess what? This bedroom is super massive. Oh my god. This is master bedroom. Look at. Guess what? Guess what? The toilet, the restroom. Is bigger than my own house. Come, come and see. Eh? Eh? Look at see space. Oh no, wow. Luxury bathroom. Automated water closet. Look at. Oh my god. If you see you coming, it will just open <laughs> and let you, you know, shit. Luxury shit. I will not be poor. Oh no. Bro, no way I will be poor. I will never be poor. God. Look at, look at, look at the shower net. Open here and the thing will they, you know, drop from up. Like say it did rain. <laughs> Bro, I will not be poor. Stop playing. Look at the restroom. 
This is bigger than my house. Now to the closet. Oh more. I will have you poor. See, look at. Come with me. Come, come, come. 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 Come with me. See space. See space. See space. Look at space. Bro. Look at space. Look at space. Look at. Look at. Wallahi, I will never be poor. Wallahi, I will never be poor. Me and you, let's go to the gym. Go hide your woman. Allah is at the gym. Go hide your woman. I will never be poor. Ah, and if you get anybody, we will offend you. Ah, no, go try me. No, try me. Ah. No, no, I'm very Hello. Ah, and if you feel like you know, <laughs> stop playing. Enough parking space for you and your family. At the back of the house, you have a pool here where you can enjoy, flex, you know, relax, calm your head. <laughs> it's plenty. Do you know that 500 million naira for some places is not only land you will get? Now to the penthouse. How more? This house is so big, so tell you if you are not careful. <laughs> You feel lost. The house that you just watched now, that a lot of Lagos is advertising, goes for 500 million naira in Osaka, London, in Lagos State. People say the fact that the house in Osaka, London makes it even like not worth that amount. Some people have a problem with the fact that it's even a lot of Lagos that is doing the advert. But then look at the interior, look at the door. I, mean, I don't know about real estate, but guys, what do you really think? Do you think that this house is worth it or not? Would you buy this house for 500 million naira if you could afford it? Let me know what you think in the comment section. There was this popular rumor yesterday about this uh, Nollywood actress, Destiny Etiko, yesterday, like people were saying, oh, she granted an interview saying she was a virgin at 33 when i saw it i was surprised i went to look for the interview like when she really said it i wanted to be sure that she actually mentioned something like because there's a lot people had so much to say that destiny virgin who that she fashion so <laughs> i wanted to be sure that she said what she said so i went to look up the interview but i didn't get any direct source of when she granted an interview to say that she was still a virgin at 33 so definitely that was a cooked up story from someone the news went viral and people had so much to say about it but the shock was still shocking me until yesterday when i saw destiny to go post this video you guys really need to watch it the evil adage you always say no matter you're not being up you're not fair trouble go to sleep you're gonna wake up we're gonna be here what is this nonsense anyway since yesterday i've been i've been i've, I've not rested though <laughs> About virgin, sequa virgin asro. I don't get it. It's I can't fathom it. It's it, it, it's quite unfathomable. I don't even know where they got the stupid news. From. And it has dawned on me that a lot of people are so insensitive and so you they use your foolish. to play. A full fledged man up with a family man. You put it to pull on and no set your ring lights. One day, man, I caught two. I caught two, two about what you know absolutely nothing about. Did I grant any interview? Or did you see me write anywhere, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere that I'm a virgin? I want to I'm a virgin. I want to I'm a home, okay? Did I tell you? Did I ever call you? Where do you people get this fake stupid news from? Ndala, ndala. Who not showing you the chase of clout? About destiny. So she said virgin care. How? When did she even say that? She said it's people's mother that will be a virgin. That she's not a virgin. She's 33 years old. And she never granted an interview to that effect. So I beg. So apparently that was a news coming from someone who just wanted destiny to trend. I don't know. Or who just wanted to cook up a story. You remember that guy who leaked um, Empress nude pictures and videos on the internet and even blackmailed her and all that and all that. Has been arrested in Liberia yesterday. People were so excited. Fans of Empress were so excited that he didn't go scot free with everything that he did. But the shocking part about it was even when the picture was posted, people were looking at the picture and saying, ah, "This man, like, look at this man, look at this woman, like, how come? Do, do you do you think they even match people? Like, ah, what what's up? What's up? Why did she even date this man in the first place? But don't forget that, according to what we heard, this man was flashing luxury. 
to this woman and all the victims that he has because according to what Jislova posted this morning <laughs> after I was arrested his phone was seized and lots of pictures nude pictures and nude videos of other female celebrities were sent to Jislova you can imagine the most shocking one for us was Iniedo like even Iniedo's new picture was with this guy he had their passport he have he, he had their passport he had several other things you know to just put them down with it was a lot and people were like ah, what was all this the funny part about the entire story was that people said that uh, at the time any i don't knew that this guy was dating empress so it was not like too clear you know that this guy is with someone why did you go ahead to date the guy that's the question a lot of people are asking but some people are saying because of the flash of luxury that you showed to this female and then i'm like any is okay she's boxed up so i don't know but then again Money is never enough, even for the ones who have built. So, just hope that this news that are with people now because you know some of the officers would have taken hold of it. We hope that there will be, you know, discipline and diplomatic enough not to start you know using this as an opportunity to get money from these celebrities again. And we hope that it doesn't even leak out it's as well. Toronto Duchess has revealed that she, oh, she's a child of grace and a child of favor because uh -huh. time she doesn't have job like maybe roles are not coming she just prays to god and say god you know i'm your child i need money and all that and all that and before you know it people will call her for hookup and then she'll go for hookup and then she'll get five thousand dollars for one night no, hmm. you watch, the one, Grace. watch the video and hear her say it yourself like i'm i pray i fast like do you know that sometimes when i want to go and also Sometimes when I'm not seeing work, I'll just pray to God. I'll be like, God, you know, I need to pay this bill. I need like... When, when you say when you want to go and hustle, like go to... Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, uh, I, Make I get something clear. You say if the time when job, no, they come. That means who can I do they come? come you I go pray, pray to I'll God. I'll fasting. I'll be like, fasting and prayer. God, like, I'll be like, God, you know, I'm your daughter. You know, this is not what you planned for me to do. Mm. But this is a hustle. And you created me. I don't have any choice. And... I'm a, I'm someone that I'm, I have grace. I'm a favored, favored person. Mm. Before the day ends, the day. they will just come in like, Hey, Duchess, I have a client for you. He said, go pay 500. But if you see more, if you do any, no, if you do not, I'll be like, ah, God, thank you. And I will do charity or whatever. I always do charity online as a tithe. I will never give my tithe to church. I don't believe in it. So she's proudly saying that she is a child of favor who calls on to God and say, God, I need money to pay this bill, to settle this bill. And God answers our prayers. You know, videos like this actually make people think, okay, me that I'm claiming to be a child of God. I pray to God for this and that, and I don't get it instantly. Now, the question is, do you think that it's God that is answering our prayers for hookup? Or do you think that it is not? Because people have lots of things to say, and I really want to get your opinion on this. This lady actually claiming that God answers our prayer for hookup is actually correct. And there are so many children of God who are saved. So she's not a child of God, please don't get me wrong. But there are so many fervent churchgoers, monks goers, and all that, who are praying for you know financial favor that is and i'm not getting it so it's a lot guys what do you think do you think it's god that is answering our prayers for hookup or do you think that everybody now should start praying to do hookup maybe god will bring this kind of money their way because five thousand dollars a night is a lot lot of money erica's jewelry is just stolen in south africa and she had to tweet that the only jewelry she had left was the katia bracelet she was putting on at the airport so sad and when i go went through the comment section i saw some people saying oh sorry we forgot to warn you it's an habit over here people steal people's jewelry people's luxurious items actually get missing and i'm like ha or more these people just have to be very very careful whenever they travel but do you think that the authorities should do something about it because i really think so if people are complaining regularly about their items getting missing whenever they come to your place to work and all, then I think something drastic should actually be done about it. Genio has become the latest brand ambassador to Jenny's Glow. Hmm, congratulations, Genio, Jenny's Glow. You know when we talk about skin, skinning, you would agree with me. Forget the sentiment and every other thing you feel or you have against Genio, but look at the skin. Mm -mm, the skin is skinny. Let us not lie. Just confess to yourself. I know you probably don't like her but the skin is definitely skinning so this brand ambassador deal fits her well for jenny's glow congratulations sister kale said timaya cried when he noticed that he was homeless and at the time he gave him 
a penthouse that he wasn't using hmm. you know it's, it's, it's a lot so someone who had money who was living in luxury to turn into someone who was homeless so this act of you know service from timaya was really really mm -mm, great and you know beautiful so people are saying skills we have heard you have said it before oh um, it's not a it's not an easy thing you know if he's saying it every day it's even it's not it's not too much i'm telling you because you don't know what it feels like to be homeless god you're not allowed to know what it feels like to be homeless as then actually as someone who has tasted money you was tasted wealth before and all of a sudden you don't even have money to afford a basic roof over your head it's a lot so if he's taking to my and repeating it allow him be cool <laughs> A particular potter cut based their vendor yesterday morning was in tears. She was really crying because her shop got bored and this catched away with expensive wigs. And she even had orders to deliver. It was a lot. Please watch the video she posted. <laughs> the cleaner everything. See, they cleared everything. But I'm gonna relax. I'm going to I'm going to sort out everybody. No fear. We'll sort out everybody. We should just take um Amiba. We'll sort you guys out. It was a lot and she was crying and she was like people should not worry i'm going to make sure i refund you i'm going to pay you back and all that and all that hey people shall pity her just a few moments later hey we now saw another video where edgy baby has put smile on not just only this lady's face but even her entire family member's face see the video she posted next She did not state the amount that AG Baby sent, but from this video, you can tell that it is a lot. It's going to be in the Mila Milas, you understand? Because the way she was ruling, her mom was ex was excited. She was saying thank you and ah, Omo. It has definitely covered up for the loss and even giving her extra money. So congratulations, sister. I pray that you don't get robbed again because it's not a pleasant experience. AG Baby is our she is our is it your baby or your daddy? I don't know where, but some of us. We don't stand nonsense. <laughs> Let us put an end to today's gist from this beautiful quote from the tables of Doi David. She said, everyone must choose one of two pains, the pains of discipline or the pains of regret. Choose your pain wisely. So as you go this week, I'm encouraging you to choose your pain wisely. Do you want to choose the pain of discipline or do you want to choose the pain of regret? Mm -hmm. It's left to you. You know, life is about choices. Thank you so much for just doing with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and notification bell right beside. The like that you give to this video is, is actually really, really significant. You don't know how far one single like would go. So please click on the like button. It's important to like this video. Please share and you can reach out to me through mail. My mail is always in the description box. Always, always, always. So please reach out, guys. Thank you. My name is Toby. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.